Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we got a double header during the day. Here it's uh, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, noon if you will. And we got the Savannah State Tigers, number seven team in the nation, four and one on the year. And they're going to be hosting the Florida A&M Rattlers. Nice little ACC matchup here in week six. I'm looking forward to this one. Florida A&M has a really good passing attack. Let me get this graphic off the screen so you guys can see it. Boom, right there. Number nine pass offense. So they're averaging over 330 passing yards per game. Uh, I know they've only played three games, but that that's quite a bit of passing yards. <laughs> but they were really good last season throwing the ball as well. Um, their defense is much improved. It was a D minus last season. So it went from a D minus to a C minus, I believe. I could be wrong on that. Hopefully I'm not, but, you know, whatever. Uh, before we get into the game, slap a like on the stream, subscribe if you're new, and join our Discord community to get your college football career started in this series. All right. Let's take a look at Savannah State's schedule real quick. They have just been steamrolling everybody until they met the number one ranked VMI Cadets last week. They lost that one 42-12, to and, I mean, 21 points in the fourth quarter. VMI just kept pouring it on. And it was, it was a rough showing for the Tigers, to say the least. Well, let's see. The rest of their schedule is pretty decent. I mean, they got a couple tough matchups here. Norfolk State and Bryant. But the rest of it should be smooth sailing until South Carolina State for the Tigers. But let's get into it, guys. Playbook is Oklahoma. This is one of them that I actually remember. And let's go white pants. Let's do it. I'm ready. All right. Pull up my chat, see who we got. Give some shout outs here. All right, who we got? Marvin Joseph, Ron Kemp, Sean D. John Perez, a.k.a. Pete Mitchell, freshman wide receiver for Savannah State. We're going to be on offense first. So let's take a look at the offense. Led by junior quarterback Jeremy Carroll. He is backed up by Aaron Patrick. And we got a big old backfield full of MJ Gator Jr., Evan Barber, Zane Roebuck, Rocky Clearwater, and at fullback, Matty Ice. And the opening kickoff is going to go out of bounds. Oh, they actually said he caught that. I didn't even control him right there. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Feels bad. All right. The rest of the offense, Zay Jones, Jarmel Lewis, Pete Mitchell, and Anthony Numa. That's the receiving core. And Matt Meeks at tight end. Zane Roebuck. It's the first down. Awkward start, but, you know, <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. Oh, my goodness. Really? Come on now. This is... Just a tremendous start. Fantastic. Yeah, they did catch a break with that kickoff, Marvin. I wasn't even... I didn't even have my hand on the controller. Oh, boy. Okay, Roebuck. Do it again, baby. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Florida and I've got them helmet stickers. Yes, sir. All right, so two penalties already in the game. An awkward kick return. What else is going to happen here tonight? <laughs> All right, we got to get MJ involved as well. He hasn't been much of a factor. There's Anthony Numa on the reception. Oh, look at the sophomore go all the way inside. Rattler territory. Little brother to Chris Numa, the All-American cornerback. Ninth ranked offense in the country, over 450 yards per game. 
Oh, Miles Dawkins in the house. And Jake Hader Jr. picks up six yards. Savannah State by 40. Oh, my goodness, Ron. That's the spread. 40 points. Dang. All right, let's see what we got here. Jay Washington in the chat. Let's get Rocky Clearwater involved here. And no blocking. Awesome. Gotta love it. Head coach for the Savannah State Tigers, Zach Sandlin in the chat. What's going on, Zach? Hope you're doing well, my friend. They're down and four for the Tigers. Wide open is MJ Gator Jr. Look out! Oh, the hurdle, baby. Let's go inside the 25-yard line. Let's see what we can do here. Throw it up top. Wide open. Anthony Numa. Touchdown, Tigers. Let's go. Alright, let's kick that extra point, shall we? Stadium sound, yes sir. I can't do it in OBS, but you know, just through the desktop audio. But I can't actually import the sounds into OBS because it's not working for me for some reason. But you know, I got you. All right, now we got to go up against a top ten passing offense for Florida A&M. Oh, I got destroyed. Take a look at this Vanna State Tiger defense led by Kyle Rose at defense event. Wooly Madden is on the opposite side of him. Linebacking core of Rashad Farrell, Rashad Allen, and Rayshawn Griffin. And in the secondary, we've got Chris Numa and Jericho Soberanis at corner. Cody Lee Jr. and Parker Thomas at free safety. Thomas is the strong safety, but listed as free on the depth chart. Oh, so close. CPU versus CPU play calling AI is suspect this year. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with it, but I mean, we've definitely had some decent games in the past. All right, let's go. Second down and 10 for the Rattlers. Play action. And another overthrow by the quarterback. That's two in a row. Let's go nickel. Cover two man, let's go. We got the speed for that, I think. Crowd going wild. And he's pressured, throws it up. Oh, that was a nice throw. Great touch, but there's a flag for a holding. And that's gonna back him up 10 yards. Unfortunate for the Rattlers. <laughs> the refs are just... <laughs> They're going crazy today already. Three flags here in a minute and a half. All right, they're down to 20 for Florida a &M. And he's pressured, throws it deep right side. He's got him. Oh, what a hit by Cody Lee Jr. Sit down, son. Oh my goodness. Woo. Man, take a seat, brother. I don't know if you guys were watching the stream last night for the Dayton Flyers game, but go back and watch the final play of the game. You are in for a treat, folks. You're not going to want to miss it. Chris Numa on for the return at the 36-yard line. And nothing much on that one, maybe five yards. All right.
Who wants it? Get that block. Oh my goodness. Lyman just stopped moving. That's a loss of eight. Fantastic. Just glorious. It's all good though. I got my Arnold Palmer iced tea. We're good to go. I'm ready. Oh man. If he got to the edge, he might have still been running right there. Alright, third down and twelve. Trying to get the offense working pretty well because it's a play action read type offense, so uh, Carroll's just not really meant for it. Oh, nice deflection. Chaos driven in the chat. What's going on, brother? Alright, we got to punt it away. It's all good. I'm liking what the defense is doing so far in the game. Should be a decent punt around the 20. 21 yard line. Not bad. Could have been better. It's all good. Alright, first and 10 for Florida AM. A lot of man coverage tonight. Direct snap, Miles Dawkins. Let's go. Second appearance of the game. Tay Ray in the chat. What's going on, Tay? Trying to wake your brain up. Good luck. Second down of 14. They can't hear a thing. There's a flag. False start. Let's go. Home field advantage, baby. The fans are furious that the Tigers lost last week to VMI. And they're letting everybody hear it. Big Gear Productions in the chat. What's going on, man? Second down and 19. Deep shot left side, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Numa comes down with the interception. Let's go. His 19th of his career. Not a bad resume for the junior corner. It's the Numa show here. Anthony Numa's got the touchdown reception. And now Chris Numa's got the interception. Love it. All right, see what we can do here. Let's do it. Aaron Patrick in a quarterback. Just going to take off with the young fella. First down, Tigers. Let's go. Beat in the end zone. Touchdown, Savannah State. Let's go. Savannah State is, the, is an HBCU. Yes, sir. Gotta love that play action pass. Numa with two touchdown receptions here in the first quarter. And his big brother, Chris Numa's got the interception. Pete Mitchell on kickoff coverage. Let's see what he can do. Well, he didn't get destroyed, so he's got that going for him. No audibles for you, Mr. Quarterback. No audibles for you. High snap. Quarterback draw goes nowhere. Tate's going to lose a couple yards. Here is the question of the game for you guys. In their championship year... Savannah State lost two games. Who 
did they lose to? I was a little late on the stadium pulse. It's all good. What you got? What you got? Nothing. Sack lunch, baby. Let's go. Wooly Madden gets his first sack of the game. Defense is fired up right now, guys. They're down at 18 for Florida AM. And none of the receivers know what's happening. You love to see it. Who wants it? It's picked off. Rayshon Griffin has one. Let's go. It's 12th of his career. Look at those stats. 127 tackles, 6 sacks, 12 picks. Let's go. This is a beautiful start. Tremendous. Over the middle, Numa again. First down, Tigers. There's an injury for the Rattlers on the field. Andrew Wilson, one of the linebackers. Voice from FAMU are so shook right now. Just a little bit, man. Pretty good season so far for Numa. And here's MJ getting to the outside, cutting it back up field, picks up six yards. I want to try to get him around 12 carries in this game. So he hasn't got a whole lot the past couple games. Nope. Get off him. Somehow got back to the line of scrimmage. That was looking really rough right there. <laughs> All right, third down and five. And that's actually going to be the end of the first quarter. So number seven, Savannah State on top, 14 to nothing against the Florida A&M Rattlers, who are 2-1 and one on the year. MJ is so fast. Yes, sir. I think he's got 95 speed. Don't quote me on that. He's got to be close. Andrew Wilson out for the game with a strained tricep for Florida AM. and And MJ Gator Jr. Oh, baby! Touchdown, Savannah State! <laughs> so good to see MJ back in the end zone. I feel like it's been a couple weeks. And it is 21-0 here in Savannah, Georgia. The route is on. Well, if Florida A&M can get something going on offense, they might stand a chance. But <laughs> they're having a rough time hearing anything. Get him, Pete. Let's go, Pete. Saving a touchdown. You'd love to see it. Yes, boo. The team's up three touchdowns. Come on now. High snap. Oh, I should have had a pick right there. Oh, my goodness. He is 0 for 6 with two picks. Oh my goodness. Is that the best you got? Come on now. Deep shot. Oh no, Soberanus got beat. And he drops it. Woo! Got lucky on that one. 
All right, they're down to 10 for the Rattlers. Tiger fans want blood, yes sir. Deep shot. Parker Thomas with the interception. Third for the defense in the game. Let's go. Freshman had an 89 yard interception return for a touchdown earlier in the season. I believe it was 89 yards. My goodness. He's 0 for 8 with three picks. This crowd just has him so shooketh. Shooketh, my friends. Rocky Clearwater up the middle. He's gone. Goodbye. Tiger. Touchdown again. Wow. Didn't even make a move. Just straight line speed from Rocky Clearwater. And at what at what point <laughs> does Florida A and M put another quarterback in? It's twenty eight nothing here in Savannah, Georgia, folks. Tyler Rocky in the chat. What's going on, Tyler? Pete Mitchell got plowed over, but it's all good. Rashad Allen cleans up the tech. They have negative 12 yards of offense. Wow. What you got, Tate? What you got? Nothing. I got destroyed in the secondary. It's getting ugly. <laughs> It's only going to get uglier, Ron. Come on. We know this. Crowd won't get as loud as it can be anymore since we're up by four touchdowns. It's all good, Tyler. No worries, buddy. Pass right side. Almost picked off again. Parker Thomas drops it. Third down and eight. Cody Lee Jr., the All-American free safety, is in the zone for the Tigers. Let's go. He wants it. Deep shot. Parker Thomas is there. And he's got another one. Let's go, Parker. He's got two. And that's his third of the season. And with Jay, welcome to the chat. You're subbing. Awesome, man. Welcome to the channel. Go ahead and join our Discord community, too, while you're at it. Got over 150 members in there. And you can get yourself on the field here in this series. The link is in the description below. I see what we can do here. Nice little play action. Matt Meeks wide open. Let's go. And Meeks down to the 32 yard line. This is getting crazy. Defense has four interceptions. The offense can do no wrong at this point. Carroll with 13 touchdown passes on the season. Five picks. And Jay Gator Jr. Goodbye. Touchdown, Tigers. Let's go. He's so fast. Stayed up until 2 a.m. last night. I think I, I don't think I fell asleep until around 3. Tigers are taking no prisoners. No, sir. I'm mauling people out here. Stayed up all night drinking Mountain Dew. Oh, my goodness. Pete Mitchell just got destroyed again. Let's go, get him. No way he gets out of that. My goodness. It's a slobber knocker. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> Absolute decimation of the Rattlers. That's what it is. Taking the frustrations out. Yes, sir. They have a new quarterback in. <laughs> Since they started through four interceptions. Where's that throw going? This guy is not good. <laughs> oh, man. At this race, Savannah State will put up 100. <laughs> they could, man. It's already 35 nothing, And they just keep throwing us the football. There's, oh, it should have been a sack. Deep shot. Get him, Crooks. No, Crooks. There's a touchdown from Florida A&M. Feels bad. Why was a linebacker one-on-one -on -one with a slot guy? This is like Undertaker throwing Mick Foley off the top of the hell and cell. Oh, my goodness. Why was Crooks on the slot guy? That, that's what I want to know. Because I'm pretty sure I picked a blitz with all of the linebackers. Yes, they sure did score. Savannah State's pass defense has been iffy throughout the series. So, it's bound to happen. You feel bad for the other team? <laughs> Don't feel bad. They scored. Quieted the crowd down a little bit, you know. Pete Mitchell on for the kick return. And up to 28. A little play action read. that block wide open Zay Jones all the way to the 48 yard line his first reception of the game all right Matt Meeks the tight end is in the zone for the Tigers Carroll 7 of 874 yards two touchdowns in the game unreal Oh, come on. Every time, man. Every single time. Doesn't matter who hits him or how hard he gets hit. Every time somebody touches Jeremy Carroll when he's throwing it, it's a pick. Oh, boy. What do I think about LSU this season? Well, I don't think they're going to do too well this season. <laughs> Last season they were great. The comeback is on, guys. They're doing it. Carroll's really working towards a permanent seat on the bench. Feels bad, coach. Feels real bad. Direct snap. Look out. Good tackle, Parker. Let's go. Parker Thomas having a great game at strong safety. There we go. There's the stadium pulse. Let's go, baby. Second goal from the three-and-a-half-yard line. And a false start. Home field advantage. Let's go. Rayshon Griffin gets his second of the game. That's the first interception for the backup quarterback.
five interceptions in a quarter and a half. My goodness. Rocky Clearwater gets no blocking. Aaron Patrick in a quarterback now. Throw it up. Jarmel Lewis, one on one coverage. And Jarmel comes down with it at the 43 yard line. First down, Savannah State. Keep Patrick in there for this play. Maybe the whole series. We'll see. Patrick taking off. Patrick still going. All the way to the 24-yard line. Let's go, freshman. I see you. Who have you seen play it down, John? Patrick? Played a couple of times. He's got his own little formation. Oh, of course he gets sacked. They did an all-out blitz. Alex Dar in the chat. What's going on, Alex? Southern Utah plays next, buddy. Look at that. He just came through just completely unblocked. That's that's a feels bad moment. Wide open, Pete Mitchell, touchdown, Tigers! What a throw and what a route. It's 42 to 7. That's a great drive by freshman quarterback Aaron Patrick. You like that Tiger sound, Tyler? Stadium sounds are back, baby. Do you think is the most underrated team in the FCS dynasty? Oh man. Uh, I feel like Bryant gets overlooked, even though they're just so dominant. Nobody really talks about them. Uh oh. Got him beat again, doesn't he? Come on, man. And that time it was a cornerback on him. It was Soberanis, I believe. Never even attempted to deflect the pass. Right. North Dakota State, yeah, they're, they're underrated too. They're really good. If Calvin Jasper Jr. can hold on to the football for the Bison, that offense is nasty. Oh, no. Nice tackle. Parker Thomas is balling out. They're just there dominating it and nobody says anything. I know, they won the national championship and just nobody cared. <laughs> Play action. And there's a sack, let's go. Who got him? Can't see the number. Jenkins, non-subscriber corner. Second down and 18. Quick pass left side, wide open. Oh, and he never saw the pass.
Just with a blowout, you're on the highest difficulty, right? Yes, sir. Nothing but Heisman on this channel. They're down in 18. And another sack. Let's go, defense. Jenkins again. Two sacks on this drive. It does help that uh, they threw four interceptions in the first quarter. And their starting quarterback got benched. <laughs> And the field goes up, and no good. I don't know about that one. That, that was close. That was weird. Just that good? Can't believe I'm doing it on Heisman? Well, I, I've played this game for so long. It does help. And the Barber one-on-one, -on -one, that's an overthrow, though. No way he gets that. No way. Evan Barber to the 35-yard line. What a catch. Let's go, Evan. Junior half back out here playing some tight end. Also lines up at fullback as well. Coach up that offensive line a little bit. Did you see a wide right? <laughs> a little bit. Throw it up. One-on-one -on -one coverage. No way he got that. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Feels bad. <laughs> yes, Jay. You saw a wide right from the team in Tallahassee. You are correct. It's nothing new there, man. That's two interceptions now for the quarterbacks of Savannah State. Okay, Jenkins, nice deflection. Southern Utah game is against Tennessee State. They are not one of our dynasty teams. Pullback dive. I bounced off him. Feels bad. Parker Thomas cleans up the tackle, though. He's all over the place in this game. Four hundred forty nine yards of offense for the Tigers. Are they going to snap the ball? They're going to go off tackle if they do, probably. Nope. That's the end of the first half. Savannah stayed on top forty two to seven here at home. The next game, which is going to be right after this stream, guys. Number 21, Tennessee State Tigers travel to take on the fourth-ranked Southern Utah Thunderbirds. And while we're at it, here's the question of the game for those that have missed it. In their championship year, Savannah State lost two games. Who did they lose to? I know that graphic is fire, isn't it, Jay? I love that one. All right, let's do this. Seven total turnovers in this game. Goodness gracious. Crowd's still into it, and their team's up by five touchdowns. Oh, I misplayed that. I backed up just a little bit too much. John Perez with the Jacksonville and Dayton guess. Yeah, the next game should be a good one. Tennessee State's really good. SEC powerhouse. I thought for sure they were going to go deep over the middle. I think the Bryant Bulldogs beat them. 
Tiger Clan is all in for four quarters. Yes, sir. Keep that stadium pulse pumping. That's a face mask. I did not even hit R2. And he still goes for the force fumble. Deep shot, right side, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Nice pass. Only his receiver could get to that one. Jacksonville, North Dakota State guess? Okay, okay. I'm not sure if uh, Savannah State's ever played North Dakota State yet. I can't remember. My memory is just trash, so who knows. Tackle for, I believe that was Parker Thomas. It's hard to tell who that was. All right, second out of four. But the Rattlers trying to get in the end zone for the second time tonight. How was that not a sack? Tell me I didn't just get robbed. Tell me I did not just get robbed of a sack with Cody Lee Jr. Left side of the defense needs work. Yeah, that's the best side, too. You got Chris Numa over there at corner. And All-American free safety, Cody Lee Jr. I mean, Numa's All-American as well. Forty-two, fourteen is the score now. Yeah, I basically just bounced off the quarterback on that play. Makes no sense. All right, Pete, let's go. Let's do this. I wanted to spin to the right. I could have still been running. All right, let's get it. Patrick's going to pick up eight or nine yards on the carry. If I can get some blocking right here, this play could be good. Matt Meek's in the zone at tight end for the Tigers. Nope, just get rid of it. Matty Ice, fullback. I don't even think he got the first down there. Nope, third down on one. Rattlers didn't throw picks earlier. They might be in the game. Yeah. It, <laughs> their quarterback started like 0 for 10 or something like that. Run, MJ. Run. Oh, nice tackle at the 49-yard line. off that time it's all good the gator is loose yes sir okay Pete oh right off his hands come on now come on young freshman All right, third down and 14 from the 46-yard line. Yeah. 
Might hit Numa on this corner out on the right side, or I'll chuck it up deep to Zay Jones. No blocking, no blocking. Hello. Oh my goodness. Savannah State about to punt the football away. How often do we see that? Leak on for the punt. And that was terrible. Come on. Oh boy. Rattler's trying to get back into the game. I wanted a big hit there. They wouldn't let me have it. Yeah, the next game, the stadium pulse is going to be all the way to the top for Southern Utah. That's going to be a fun one. Deep shot, and I misplayed it again. No way that just happened. Oh, my goodness. Rattler's coming back, folks. Look out. That was a beautiful throw. Oh, my goodness. Right between both of their arms? Get out of here. It's getting crazy here in Savannah, Georgia. Have yet to hear from Kyle Rose at defensive end. There's another nice stop by Jenkins. He's all over the place at corner in that nickel spot. Second down and 11 now for Florida AM. That's a screen. Forced to back inside. Maybe a gain of one on the play. Third down and 10. They are 0 for 5 on third downs. And there's a sack. Let's go. There's Kyle Rose. Fourth sack of the game for the defense. Seven hurries, five picks. And we hold them to a field goal. Forty-yard attempt for FAMU. And he's got this one. 42-17 is now the score here in the third quarter. And one more time for you guys. Question of the game. In their championship year, Savannah State lost two games. Who did they lose to? Rocky Clearwater on for the return. Left side. Rocky Clearwater up the sideline. Look out. He's got speed. And he's got six. Touchdown, Tigers. Let's go. Ninety-seven yard touchdown return for the sophomore. Who needs offense when you can just return a kick for a touchdown? Extra point up good. It's 49-17 now. Wasn't it 35 to nothing in the first quarter? <laughs> Uh-oh, this might go out of bounds. That's all good. I don't want to talk about it, guys. All right? I don't want to talk about it. We all know I gotta work on my kicking. He almost caught that, my goodness. Reading the chat again, just a little bit. <laughs> I really gotta stop doing that on kickoffs. And 
another sack for the defense. Let's go. Is that Blackstock? I think it is. Non-subscriber defensive tackle. Look at Ball State, number six in the nation. Undefeated on the year. Awesome. All right, third down at 15. They're 0 for 6 on third downs tonight. Let's go. 0 for 7. Get out of my face. Fourteen punts, seven inside the twenty with a long of seventy-one. This guy is a god. Chris Numa on for the return. And can't get past the first wave. He's got three punt returns for touchdowns on the season, though. Give old Zane Roebuck a carry. Sophomore halfback started off the scoring in the national championship game against Dayton. And it's a good one. Right up the middle, all the way to the 48 yard line. Oh my goodness. wants it. Matt Meeks? Nope. He drops it. Come on now. Alright. Let's go off tackle. Hand it off to Gator. Am I playing a doubleheader? Yes, sir. Final game of week six. Right after this one. Southern Utah, number four in the nation. Hosting the 21st ranked Tennessee State Tigers as MJ Gator Jr. is loose again. High stepping in front of everybody. Disrespect for everyone. You love to see it. That's the 50 burger, guys. And with that, we will put the answer of the question of the game up on the screen. In the championship year, Savannah State lost two games. Who did they lose to? Number 22, Jacksonville, in week two. And number seven, two lane in week five. Those were the two losses the Tigers suffered last season as they went out to beat Dayton in the national championship game. Get him. Okay. Can we check the... Yeah, come on, Jay. You know we go over everything at the end of the, the final game. I got you, fam. Ice cream sounds good right now. It sure does. Oh, this should have been another pick. Oh, he got leveled. Parker Thomas just destroying everybody in this game. What is happening? Quick pass, right side. Uh-oh. It's all right. At least fast enough. At least fast enough. Let's go. Rayshon Griffin recovers it. That's what we're talking about. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. Number seven ranked Savannah State Tigers on top 56 to 17 over the Florida AM Rattlers. Here in ACC play. Zane Roebuck cuts it back. Zane Roebuck, he's gone. You want it? Do you want it? All right. 
little too long. It's all good. Touchdown, Tigers. Yeah, Alex, you got one of them right. I believe you guessed Jacksonville. That play was designed for the right side, and Roebuck just too quick with the cutback. They need a difficulty higher than Heisman. They just, they need it. The point spread is reached. Yes, sir. Let's go. It took a while, but we got there. Yeah, at the end of every season, I always adjust the sliders to, you know, improve the computer and lessen the skill of myself. So this season should have been harder than last season, especially with teams getting, you know, new recruits in these Power 5 conferences. But so far, this week, there's been so many blowouts, I think almost every team has scored 50 points. It could be called Klein Mode. <laughs> I like it. All right, they're going to go quarterback draw here. Kyle Rose with the tackle. Let's go, Kyle. Let's go. All right, five receivers set. Cover two man out of the nickel. Let's go. Oh, I wanted a big hit with Parker. That would have been nice. That backup quarterback has over 300 passing yards this game. What? What? pass and Thomas with another hit they are 0 for 8 on third downs folks get him out of here coach get him out of here Numa oh this could be deadly they got no defenders over here and Numa is gone. Touchdown, Savannah State. Another one. His fourth of the season on punt returns. Oh, my goodness. All we need is a defensive touchdown, and we scored every way. There it is, folks. The 70 burgers. 70 to 17 here in Savannah, Georgia. Pete Mitchell got leveled. 70 burger with tater tots and a milkshake. I like it. I gotta call a timeout. My defense is a little gassed right now. Apparently, Greg Cooks got injured, and I didn't even realize it. But he's out for the game. Look at that. We're up 70 to 17. The stadium ball still halfway. You love to see it, guys. Quick pass. Oh my goodness. Numa should have had a pick six. He misplayed it. Let's go. Touchdown, Tigers. Another one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was way too easy. Let's go. Parker Thomas in the chat. Parker, you've been going off this game, buddy. I highly recommend you go back and watch it from the start. Not only do you have two interceptions, but you just have just so many big plays in this game. A lot of tackles. And a false start. Fantastic. Does the milkshake bring all the touchdowns to the end zone? Yes, sir, it does. You are correct, Marvin.
And we are now up by 60 points here at home in front of the sellout crowd, just about. Let's go, Pete. Get down the field, buddy. Get down here. Oh, destroyed again. Yeah, they still can't hear anything. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Way to use your head. <laughs> he just keeps trying on kickoff team, though. He sure does. Putting in that effort, man. Get as much playing time as he can. And that passes right off the helmet of that man as well. Oh my goodness, two in a row just bouncing off their helmets. Get out of here with that. What was that? All we need is a fumble recovery for a touchdown. And we've scored pretty much every way. All right, guys, we're going to get weird with it right here. Ready? Let's let it bounce. Oh, he's too close to it. Oh. I was hoping it would bounce farther. Let's give it off the robot. And he's got the first down. Four carries. He's got 100 yards on four carries. Get out of here. Offensive line is just really good at run blocking for the Tigers. Next game, right after this stream, folks, number 21 Tennessee State travels to take on the fourth ranked Southern Utah Thunderbirds in Cedar City, Utah. Stick around for that one. It's going to be fun. Matt Meeks in the zone to the right side. You know we're going to run it his way. Let's go, Matt. Get some pancakes for yourself, brother. Let's go. Same robot with some strength. Uh, he's a little tired now. Feels bad. Third and inches. Quiet down, crowd. Quiet down. I want to hear a pin drop in here. Oh, MJ. No. That's all good. Are you really taunting right now? My guy. What do you mean? You're down by 60, dude. Get out of here. All right, I'm not looking at the chat. Going to get a nice punt here with Leak. This could be good. We've got the wind going that way as well. Might push it out of bounds inside the 15, inside the 10 maybe. Oh, it's inside the 10. Uh-oh. Sobranis, get to the outside, please. Okay, at least you slowed him down. Good pass. Nice deflection. I believe that was Rashad Allen on this uh, deflection. Very nice play. That's exactly what he looked like, John. <laughs> and a false start again. 
Second down of 15 for the Rattlers. Screen pass, left side. Oh my goodness, what a hit. All right, third down to 15 now. They're 0 for 9 tonight. Wow. Parker. Oh, Parker. You should have had the hat trick. <laughs> what was that? He should have had that. I trusted the computer to make the play. I should have usered it. All right, Numa, let's go. Oh, all the way to the 50. That spin was sick. Alright, we're getting weird with it. Calling a play that I don't really call too often because it rarely works. It's a halfback toss! And Rocky Clearwater is in the clear. Oh my goodness, sit down, son! All the way inside the 15 yard line. What a run! Oh my goodness gracious. That was a beautiful thing. Can't even lie. You want an 80 burger? Oh my goodness. So greedy. Oh, really, Zane? Really? That was the easiest touchdown of your life, my guy. Numa. Touchdown, Tigers. Numa gets the hat trick. And it is 84 to 17 here in Savannah, Georgia, folks. Get him. Fifty-three plays for Florida AM. You know, if they didn't have all those interceptions, this probably would be a close game. <laughs> Ray Senga in the chat. What's going on, my brother? Long time no see, buddy. Let's go. Cody Lee Jr.'s second pick of the game. Eight interceptions. Eight. At both quarterbacks for the Rattlers have thrown four interceptions apiece. Need harder sliders next year? I made them harder. I make them harder every offseason, man. <laughs> and these teams getting, you know, they're getting new recruits. Oh, that's seven interceptions. My bad. I forgot, of course, the fumble. You know what I'll do? I'll just put all the human sliders to zero, all the computer sliders to 100. See if that does anything. Uh-oh. Nope, couldn't get rid of it. That play was doomed from the start.
Numa wide open. His fourth touchdown reception of the game. Are you kidding me? All by himself. Been watching all the live streams on your TV. Nice, nice. Aaron Patrick, freshman quarterback, with another touchdown pass tonight. So close. Is there another game after this? Yes, sir. Southern Utah, number four team in the land, hosting the 21st ranked Tennessee State Tigers. That's a face mask. Or not. Okay, cool. Let me pull up that beautiful graphic for you right there. Oh, it's so sexy. That's our next game. About 10 minutes after this stream ends, we'll be starting that one up. Oh my goodness, that's a fumble? No way! We got a scoop and score, baby! Let's go! <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow. We actually just scored every way imaginable, except for a safety. Cody Lee Jr. with a pick six and a scoop and score. <laughs> oh, man. Big Geo in the chat. Jay Balmer, what's going on, man? Can't wait for the EFL draft. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is finish this season of the FCS Dynasty and then right after that just focus on the EFL. We'll get season one of that done and we'll jump right into the draft. That's the plan, I think. Just focus on one series at a time with, you know, with everything going on for me. Are they really just going to keep throwing it up? He got beat. Okay. 266 yards passing to the right side. Wow. Soberanis gets beat on the right side. But that's it, guys. 98 <laughs> to 17. If not for a million turnovers in this game, Florida A&M might have made it a close one. But their quarterback started out like 0 for 10, with four interceptions. The stadium pulse was just rocking them. They couldn't do a darn thing on offense. Goodness gracious, guys. Negative nine yards rushing, but they had 380 passing. So many turnovers, though. 0 for 10 on third downs. Nine turnovers. Yeah, that, you cannot win a game like that. That defense, though. Let's go. See, Michael Hines is on the Heisman watch. Yeah, well, after the uh, Southern Utah game, we're going to be taking a look at everything. So stick around at the end of that ball game. Aaron Patrick, 5 of 7, 173 yards, 3 touchdowns, 1 pick. Carroll, 175 yards, 2 touchdowns, 1 pick. Both quarterbacks playing pretty well. MJ, 10 carries, 127 yards, 3 scores. Roebuck had a touchdown, 108 yards. Clearwater, 97 and a score. 
Every time these running backs touch the ball, it's just a big, big game. Anthony Numa, 6 for 157 yards, 4 touchdowns. Pete Mitchell, 1 for 32 in the score. Roebuck with a drop. Pete Mitchell with a pancake. Let's go, Pete. Doing it all, buddy. I like it. Rashad Allen had 6 tackles, led the team. Cody Lee Jr. and Parker Thomas both had two interceptions. Rayshon Griffin had one as well. I mean, he had two. Chris Numa had one. That's his only stat of the game. Goodness gracious. Five sacks for the defense. Seven interceptions. Bunch of pass deflections. They just kept chucking it up and praying. Cody Lee Jr. with a forced fumble and a recovered one. Rayshon Griffin the same. And two touchdowns for the All-American free safety. Rocky Clearwater, 97-yard kick return for a score. Chris Numa, 61-yard punt return for a touchdown. Beasting and feasting tonight. If you draft Zane Williams, he'll be playing middle linebacker. I think he'd be pretty good. 42 points in the fourth quarter. It's ruthless. <laughs> I mean, it's only so much I can do when they're just giving me the football. You know what I mean? Like, what do you want me to do? Just not run it in the end zone? Oh, my goodness. All right, guys. That is it for this one. Give me about 10 minutes, and I will get the next stream set up. It is the final game of the week for week six. Number four, Southern Utah, hosting the 21st-ranked Tennessee State Tigers. It's Pac-10. Versus SEC, it's the game of the week. On your way out of the stream, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and join our Discord community to get your college football career started on one of our 12 schools. We'll be adding in-season recruits for week 8. So go ahead and join the Discord. The link is in the description below, folks. But that is it for me for now. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Take it easy, guys.